Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about the potential market crash that is already starting with the weekend league sell off and just the game of FIFA 21 right now not being very hyped because of icon swaps being less than desirable and just not a lot of content actually going on in the game that, that concerns the market, right? There's a lot of objectives, a lot of gameplay that people are grinding, but that in turn, I think, is going to affect the market negatively this weekend. You're already starting to see a lot of the weekend league sell-off, and I want to get this video out early to you guys so that you can be prepared and know what to look for when stuff is dropping today on Saturday and tomorrow on Sunday. Now, this is kind of an early upload. I'm uploading this before the actual content drop on Saturday today. There won't be a normal time upload tonight. This is kind of replacing that. I've got some plans. I'll be safe. Don't worry. We've got all our bases covered, but... Uh, I do have a couple plans today, so I will not release the normal video later tonight. Just wanted to keep you guys in the loop. But that's why I'm making this video now because I think you're going to see prices continue to drop over the rest of this weekend in a lot of areas of the market. But one one thing first before we get into that is this little issue with UCL Brand. If you guys were not aware, last night EA upgraded the wrong version of Julian Brandt when they were supposed to upgrade his road to the final. They upgraded his UCL Rare card. So now there are basically two road to the final versions of Brandt because when they upgraded his UCL Rare card to an 88, that item turned into a road to the final and is now on the market as well. So if you were able to snipe those brands last night, like 18K was his price cap, you, you can now sell him for 149,000 coins, which is crazy. Um, and it just goes to show that when there are mess ups like this, right, nine times out of 10 when EA messes something up, if you are on the game, you can usually take advantage of that right in the moment when it happens. Or like when they release the wrong red picks, uh, if you open yours right away, sometimes you'll get a second set or usually you get a second set kind of compensating you per se for those red picks. So Julian Brandt's who I want to show you right now. This is his item, right? The two items that we have here, one of them has no dynamic image and is 88 rated. That is the uh, the card that was mistakenly upgraded. And the other one has the actual dynamic image. So there's basically two different cards that are going to act in the same way. The reason why this Brandt is going to be very interesting to watch is because he now has uh, a lot more supply because all these UCL rares that were added to the market or you know mistakenly upgraded last night have now become live road to the final items. And it's actually dropped his price a little bit uh, compared to where I think he could have gone if he would have gotten the upgrade and they would not have mistakenly upgraded the wrong one. So I wanted to kind of clear that up first and talk about that. But road to the final cards are where we are going to focus a lot of our conversation today because again let's set the stage for why is there going to be big drop offs in price and why is that already starting with some cards this weekend well first things first everybody's grinding objectives like there's really when it concerns the market or even SBCs now we might have a Tony Cruz SBC today flashback you know I'm not expecting EA to make that a crazily well priced SBC and uh, you know even for that people are investing in SBC fodder it's trying they're trying to see if they can invest and make a profit on that um, I don't expect that SBC to be that crazy of value. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't think it's going to affect the market that much. And in all honesty, the only really way that I see this market going right now with the, the way the game is headed and where we are at in this stage of the year is down this weekend. So right now, all there is to do is either you're grinding Weekend League for the Weekend League Plus or you're grinding one of these future star players for objectives. Or you are grinding the icon swaps, right? Icon swap tokens are out. That's probably the main focus for a lot of people, grinding their first nine icon swap tokens. So a lot of that doesn't really concern the market. And if people are not happy with the game in general, you are going to see prices start to drop off. Now, you know, let's check a couple gold cards really fast. Kylian Mbappe, how much is he? These are cards that, again, I think these guys have sort of reached their peak, so to say. Um, post team of the year, like Mbappe almost made it back up to a million coins. He's 950 right now. Neymar um, has made it back up to, I think, 780K or something like that. Could be a little bit wrong there. I think that's pretty close, though. 750, 760 for him. Honestly, I see these guys dropping off a fair amount this weekend. I see a lot of gold cards continuing to drop off because as this market heads downwards, I do think that is just all that supply is going to start catching up with them. And people maybe are going to be looking to rock more in tradable teams with the new objective cards and maybe stuff they get from icon swaps. So that's one thing to watch out for. 
But again, the main thing I want you guys to be in tune with as we head out of the weekend league this weekend, and the, the biggest thing on this market right now are road to the final cards, because this is going to be an area where people and other investors in this game are going to look to invest very quickly after the weekend league is over and as we get into this week. Now, cards that just got upgraded, most of them have risen, right? You've got Wijnaldum, who was like 615, 620K on PlayStation. He is now up to like 660,000 coins, right? A nice rise there. You have other cards like this 86 Akanji, who got a plus two rating. He is now extinct at 410K because he got a plus two. He went from 300K up to 410 on the PlayStation. But you already have other road to the final cards starting to rise up as they play this week. Now, that's this is why I'm, I'm telling you this right now. Definitely watch these cards prices as we head into the games. And for most of these, I still think they can go higher because this is kind of the only place on the market where people are going to be looking to invest this week because this is kind of what's going on. So yes, I really like looking at Road to the Finals, and specifically, I like looking at those cards that are a part of a team that lost or um, drew in the first leg of their games, right? We got this in Lorenzo Insigne, right? Uh, who was down to like 112, 115,000 coins at his absolute lowest. This guy was over 200K before the game last week. Now, Napoli have a lot of injuries. They're down 2 0 to Granada, but they're coming back home. You could see a comeback, right? And what I think is going to happen is, since there's not a lot to do in the game, people are going to start buying these cards up. So if you get in early, I can see this Insigne very easily rising back to 150,000 coins because you have to remember, these cards are still live and they're very freaking rare. These cards are really, really rare. Now, I know the market's glitched right there. It's not showing me all the listings, but these RTTF cards are very rare and it's, it would not be out of the question for them to rise 20, 30, 40,000 coins on a card like Insigne into the week this week. So that's kind of scenario number one I want you to look out for. Who would be in that scenario, right? Cards like Insigne, Rebic, um, both Napoli and Milan play on Thursday. Um, and Napoli is down 2-0, but they're coming back home, right? I would, I would expect them to at least put up a fight and you'd probably be able to profit on that. Even if you buy this weekend, you're gonna see those cards most likely rise into the game time later this week. Also, Milan, and I can't even pronounce that, but they are drawing 2-2 and they're coming back home. I really, really like Milan. I like Kessi a lot as well because, you know, you, Rebic is up like 10,000 coins from where he was, but I'm a big fan of this Kessi item because he was over 750,000 coins uh, during that game. I think Milan like scored first. Definitely keep an eye on this card. Actually, never mind. He is up. He, Footbin shows him as 640. If you can snag this Kessie card in like the 630 to 640 range in the PlayStation, that's a really, really good price because he was down to 720 at his, or 620 at his lowest. But I think this card goes back up to 700,000 coins by the game time later this week. Now, if you want to talk Champions League cards as well, you could look at a guy like Klosterman who is actually down a little bit right now. I think some people might be selling their Klosterman. Um because of the fact that Akanji got upgraded. He was just 450K, so he's still about 450, 460. Keep an eye on this guy because, again, this is one of the best Bundesliga center backs. He's still very meta, very OP in this game. Uh, and, you know, they're down 2 0 to Liverpool, right? They're down 2 0, but this obviously could be a card that even still they're losing. This could still rise back up as we head towards that game. Just as we get that general hype of the road to the finals kind of going in there. I wish the Juventus road to the final card because, right, of course, Juventus right now are down 2-1 to Porto, and you would like to think that Ronaldo could bring Juventus back, score some goals in the second leg, and get them that upgrade later on this week. So I wish there was a, a tradable one on the market, but there's not, unfortunately. Also keep an eye on that Akanji and on that Brandt. They could even continue to rise further as they could get another upgrade. Uh, hopefully EA update the price range for a kanji. That'd be very, very nice. But of course, you're going to see a lot of the road to the finals from these teams continue to rise or, you know, go even higher. If we take a look at Cancelo, 470,000 coins for that card. He is very, very inflated in price right now um, because, you know, people really want that card to get upgraded. Of course, maybe there's a bit of like a winter upgrade type 
you know, stuff going on with that one too. One card that it really hasn't risen up too much is this Koulibaly, right? He's on Napoli. You know, they're down 2 0, but this card is so rare. He was down to 450 at his absolute lowest post game. He's up to 524, but if you see that in the low 500s, that's a buy from me. Now, I bought three Quincy Promes at 240,000 coins after their game. Um, because when they, on Thursday, he was 230, he went to 280 where I sold three of them and then he went back down to 240 and he has since risen because people are realizing, Hey, this guy and Ajax are ahead right now. And hopefully, uh, they go through to the next leg, right? It's kind of the, it's the battle between Quincy Promes and Renato Sanchez. And I want to talk about both of those cards right now, but this guy's kind of rising back up. He's about to 270. If you would somehow see this back to like 260 or in the 250s, uh, this is honestly, in my opinion, going 300K. This is going 300K by the time the game comes out on um, Thursday for these Road to the Final Europa League cards. And even Renato Sanchez, right? Just the overpowered player that he is, people are going to see that he is very underpriced right now um, for what he could be with, with an upgrade. This guy would get a plus two, man. How crazy would that be? If this card, Renato Sanchez, on the PlayStation, if you can get him around a million coins... And let me check his price on the Xbox. If you can get him at a million coins or below, yes, he was down to 900k flat earlier, but this card, I guarantee you, is going to be 1.1 mil or more as we head into game time later on this week. Xbox, if you could snag this dude at like 700 and, let's see, 700 and, let's say 60k, 7, 740 to 750 maybe 760 on the Xbox. If you can get him there, that'd be a great price. And again, if you can get this uh, Renato, even... Yesterday, he was 930K. Today, he's really been around a million. So try to get him under a million on the PlayStation and like 750 on Xbox. And that for me is a card that you saw the, how high uh, he went when Leal scored first earlier this week. This guy could literally go to 1.7 and 1.8 mil with that plus two boost. I'm not even kidding. He could go there for a, for a short time frame. So I want to keep your guys' thoughts and just kind of zoned in on these RTTFs. And as we look at team one, because I haven't looked at these yet, uh, Griezmann's already back up to 300,000 coins. Now, of course, they're not looking good, right? After going down four to one against Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, in the first leg. But this guy's already back up to 300,000 coins. You know, watch a guy like um, like Aubameyang with Arsenal. They drew, right? And Or in Diddy, they drew as well. No goal scored. Roma, Bruno Perez, they actually one and this card hasn't gone up much diaby he was down to 170 he's up to 190 so definitely take a look at some of these cards that could potentially get upgraded i like the europa league cards more because there's more of them and they seem to be a better buy this weekend the champions league cards have risen up so much already um i kind of like the europa league cards a little bit more um just for for where they're still kind of low i think there's potential for them to rise so that's a lot of talk about Road to the Final cards. Let's take a peek on the rest of the market. As I do mention, a lot of the stuff is going down, right? Another area of the market, if you don't want to mess around with RTTFs, would be Future Stars. Future Stars, brand new items in FIFA. People are still trying them out. This Anthony card, if Ajax continue to do well, this guy's down to like 620K at the moment. I'm pretty sure he was like 670 at one point this weekend. The Road to the Final team number two cards, right? Sorry. The Future Stars team number two. Yeah, this guy was 670 yesterday. Um, these team two cards have risen up very nicely out of pack so far. Newhouse from 135 to 170. Bastoni to 193. Reese James is actually kind of chilling at 400. Uh, Ruben Diaz is up like 30K. J Jonathan David is up like 30,000 coins. What I would 100% do in this weekend league sell-off is keep an eye on these players, right? Reese James, how, how high was he yesterday? He was 399 this morning. Yesterday, he hit a peak of 424. If you saw this at like 380 again, these are out of packs, right? They're still very popular cards, still brand new. A lot of people are using them, especially somebody like this Bastoni who fills that need of a center back in the, uh, in the Serie A. How much was he yesterday? He was 175. He boomed to 190. If you see this in the weekly sell-off down to like 180K, you might see people start to cash out on some of their investments as people invested in these and used them in weekend league. That will be a buy in my opinion. Now, you don't have to just look at Future Stars Team 1 or Team 2 as a, a card that could be low out of the weekend league as well. Take a look at some of these cards, right? Pogba, who links to the brand new Fofana, right? He really hasn't gone up too much, and there's been a lot of selling 
um, as we have got out of this weekend with those links to Fofana. If this is 400K, buy it, right? If Conte Inform is dips below 500,000 coins, buy it, right? You see some of these other informs, the Griezmann, 162, that is low. We're already starting to see a weekly sell-off on some of these items on the market. 151, that's low. 509 for Bamba, that is low. You are definitely starting to see a weekly sell-off happen across the market on a lot of these cards um, that aren't you know, hyped up for an upgrade or hyped up um, for Champions League or anything like that. Let's take a look at some freeze cards really quick. Uh, 162, that is pretty low for Hazard. Uh, one, two, these are dropping for sure. So yeah, I would definitely on these rare cards as well, team of the group stage items. Some people still think that these are live. This Teo Hernandez who gets links galore right now with all the, the, the French links and the Serie A links that are going on in FIFA. This guy, if you see him at like 330K, that's probably a buy because there's a little bit of winter upgrade hype still built in. That, that's one thing. If we get any hints of winter upgrade actually coming, you can look at some of those cards too. This Sancho was 400,000 coins last night. This Donnarumma peaks at 220K. This Vardy you can sell for like 550K. So if you see major drop-offs on these really rare out-of-pack special cards, they're going to stay rare this week. And I think you can 100% look to flip them, to buy them, and to trade them. 127 for Kane. That's low, right? So, you know, Douglas Costa, 353, that's pretty low as well. I do think that on the really, really rare cards that are meta, you will see a bounce back uh, in this weekend or this into the week this week just because of the weekend league sell-off being pretty extreme. So definitely keep an eye out today for weekend league sell-off on all those areas where there are meta cards. If Wow, this cane is really dropping, man. That is low. This guy last night was selling like instantly for 135 and above. That's a big time drop off. I'm going to keep an eye on that open bid cane right there, but it's going to be a great weekend to trade as well. With these cards dropping off, icons, right? A lot of icons really boomed up this weekend. We take a look at some of these moments that I've been watching price wise. Even if you're not watching a moments card, just the regular prime icons or middle icons or babies, um, a, a lot of those guys are going to fluctuate because there's a lot of people that bought them up uh, on Friday night to, for their teams. And some of those people are going to sell off again, as, as we do see the market go down. So like I traded a storage cob yesterday for a nice profit. Uh, if this guy's back down at like one point, I don't know, 1.45, 1.4 lows, you know, I would expect to bounce back after the panic selling on some of these very popular and, uh, you know, meta icons as well. So honestly, it's going to be a good weekend to pick up on stuff that goes really low, just because you have that big drop of the panic selling and then those listings kind of stop into monday into tuesday into wednesday and you'll probably see them bounce back a little bit just because those undercuts undercuts aren't happening anymore and the the card will actually rise as we have this the the market just chills out basically so that's kind of how i'm feeling about this weekly sell-off i do think a lot of the drops that you've seen already as we've looked through some of these special cards on the on the on footbin a lot of these drops are pretty extreme right pogba 719 that is still very 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 low Jimenez is 152. That's really low too. So like as you look through the, some of these team of the week squads, especially the out of packs in form, 668 for Bruno. He was 700K. So you're seeing a lot of these prices drop. I think that's going to continue over the rest of today. Um, in forums, team of the years, like I don't think anything is going to be um, exempt really from this big drop. So again, watch and see what happens today with the content on Saturday. But I do think Road to the Finals will be the first place I would look and then rare out-of-pack special cards that people like to use in their teams or that maybe link to the objective cards that people will be completing like Renier, Cucurella, or Fofana. People are getting those completed this week as well. That's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.